Well, first and foremost, I would say that the first order of business is to is to write a new constitution. This one cannot be amended. It's broken. Write it with inbuilt checks and balances. And we take some of these powers away from the president. The way we set it up, this is what's going to happen. You are at the post at the pleasure of the president. No matter what you've done, if he doesn't fire you, nobody can do anything. Look at Adjoza for how long it took. You cannot remove him from, from, from parliament. At least fire her from the, the post as minister. No. All this time. That's the problem. We set our system up to fail. Really, that's what it is. It's at the pleasure of the president. If we are not lucky, and he is not capable of you seen in this instance, this is what's going to happen. Mm. You advise him, he doesn't take it. There's nothing left for you to do but to be quiet and watch him. I've said before, and I'll say it again, every single day this man remains as the president, the country is in peril. I will say it. I supported him wholeheartedly. Now I have seen the results. And I can't say otherwise. This is what I say. It is our country. It belongs to all of us. And it's by time we stand up and stop behaving as if the country belongs to the president and his friends and family and cronies. And we are just guest workers in it. We are not. If we don't speak up now, there will be nothing left. Pretty much right now, nothing left. The banks are in trouble. The president and the government are in trouble. Now, IMF finds out, oh, my goodness. They have a, a long rope tied all the banks with them. So when the government goes down, the banks go down, which means the whole system crashes. That's what's going on.